Can you talk a little bit about graded exposures and the amount of exposure, the extent of the potential disease? And of course, everyone's probably worried now thinking about all of the times they use talc powder, whether it be for themselves, for their baby. Uh, can, you, can you address that? Doctors don't know specifically when and how the asbestos causes the disease. They know there's a latency period of generally 30 to 40 years between the time you're exposed to the time you get the disease. The encouraging news is only 4,000, 5,000 cases each year of mesothelioma are diagnosed in America. And while you've got hundreds of millions of people who've been exposed, it is a rare cancer. It's also why it's a fatal cancer, because they, it's, they haven't figured out how to treat it. You don't live long enough to figure out how to treat it. And I understand in court you tried to address Johnson & Johnson maybe putting a label warning on their products, correct? Yeah, I, I, I had uh, the, the, one of the doctors inside of the company, and I had her on the stand, and I was cross-examining her. I said, why don't you just put a warning on there? You know, the, the protein bar I ate for lunch said, warning, it was made in a facility that processes nuts or might have dairy. They don't plan on it having it, but it might. If they'll do that for the protein bar, why on earth won't they put a label that says this might contain asbestos? And her response is, well, we wouldn't do that. People wouldn't buy it. I said, of course they wouldn't. I said, come on, give me a break. And I drew this picture for her. And I said, you've got to go through one of these doors. The question becomes, will you go through the door that's 100% safe or the door that has a 50% chance of causing cancer? Well, nobody's going to go through the cancer door. Why would they? And just to clarify, Mark, really what, what you're getting at here, in, in your opinion, based on your research, we're really talking about talc powder in general because you're talking about the mines where this product, where these products are, um, where they originate from, so that theoretically asbestos, if there's a talc product out there, in your opinion, there's a chance there could be asbestos in there. Yeah, you'll find talc powder in medicated foot powders. You'll find it in a number of different areas, and I think all of them are to be avoided. I've got four daughters. They buy makeup from sites that are talc-free. Uh, you don't want to use talc and expose yourself or your children or your loved ones to it. Uh, th there's no reason to. There are lots of good alternatives. The Doctors. 12 years in! The prognosis you prayed for. For the first time in public, I want to see if she can take a few steps. This is so scary. The treatment you needed. You look fabulous. It's the daytime talk show that's been your cure for over a decade. That is literally taking the lives from their community. I can't believe that this is happening. With the issues affecting your health right now. It is not housing, it is not economic inequality, it is a health crisis. I lied to you, and I lied to you. I have a truth that I'm going to reveal. The Doctors, on call for season 12.